Hello everyone and thank you for inviting me to do this talk. In this project, we are trying to design a deep neural network based sound coding strategy for cochlear implants that results in neural activity patterns that are closer to acoustic hearing. This project is done as part of the Australian Future Hearing Initiative Research, which is a collaboration between multiple world leading companies. In this project, we are using the CARFAC model of normal hearing. This model is developed by our collaborator, Dick Lyon, and he has worked on it over 20 years, so it's very well developed. It is a way to predict audio to neurogram responses. The output is a neurogram which shows which neurons going from base to apex or high to low frequencies are active at each time step, and it also shows the level of their activity. We are using this model because it represents the ensemble enhancement very well. It is also great at representing the traveling wave delay of the cochlea and fundamental frequency modulation in responses of neurons. In terms of using a normal acoustic hearing model for CI sound coding strategies, Nogueira in 2007 and Harshus in 2012 replaced front end filter banks with auditory models and showed promising speech in noise results and pitch perception. However, the auditory model used in hard shows was infeasible for wearable devices. These strategies also didn't take the electrical hearing models into account. There is also a way to predict neural responses for CI stimulation strategies, and that is the electrical hearing model. In this method, the sound is first passed through a cochlear implant sound coding strategy, which produces electrode stimulation patterns. Then these electrode stimulation patterns are passed through to the electrical hearing model, which is a combination of a finite element model and phenomenological properties of auditory nerve. Uh, and this model produces cochlear implant neurograms. So let's look at these neurograms and compare them to acoustic neurograms. At the first glance, the CI neurogram and the acoustic hearing model neurogram look uh, very similar, but let's uh, go into smaller sections and look in more details. As shown in the smaller sections of these neurograms, the cochlear implant stimulation strategy does not show the traveling wave delay or the fundamental frequency modulations that are present in acoustic neurograms. We can also see that it doesn't show the onset enhancement that is present in an acoustic model. So even though current cochlear implants do a great job of representing some coarse spectral cues, the onset representation, temporal fine structure, and traveling wave delays are missing. So we aim to close this gap between acoustic and electrical hearing neural activation patterns and design a biomimetic sound coding strategy for cochlear implants. This is the framework we're using for our biomimetic sound coding strategy. We get our target neurograms by passing audio input to the normal hearing model. We pass the same audio through our DNN-based sound coding strategy and obtain an electrogram, which then is passed to the electrical hearing model and generates CI neurograms. We compare these two neurograms through our custom loss function and use the gradients to train the DNN-based sound coding strategy. However, the electrical hearing model is not differentiable, so it can't be used in training the DNN-based strategy. It is also very slow, so it slows down the training significantly. So we estimated with a DNN-based electrical hearing model, which is differentiable and fast, and we trained this to take CI stimulation envelopes and produce neurograms. Once we have a sufficient estimate, we keep the parameters of this electrical hearing DNN constant during training the strategy. Here you can see the results of training the electrical hearing DNN, which generates a very similar output to the electrical hearing model. We want our biomimetic sound coding strategy to be DNN-based and to convert waveforms to envelopes or electrodograms. 
We initialize this DNN with uh, ACE DNN that is trained to produce ACE envelopes as a good starting point, and we further train it to generate acoustic hearing neurogram. In this figure, we show the initialization of the DNN to produce ACE envelopes, and as you can see, it does a great job at that. So now let's put all these together and train the DNN-based CI stimulation strategy and look at the results. This figure shows the acoustic neurograms on top, our DNN-based encoding strategy neurograms in the middle, and an ACE neurogram in the bottom. Uh, at first glance, these three all look very similar, but uh, let's look at the smaller sections. Now let's first look at the onset enhancement. We can see that the DNN-based encoding strategy does a much better job at representing the onset enhancement compared to ACE strategy. It also does a much better job at capturing the traveling wave delay and um, fundamental frequency modulation. Now let's compare them with some metrics. We use two metrics. First figure shows the structural similarity index metric, which gives the measure of the similarity in the structures between two neurograms. This is better if it is higher. Second one is MSC, which is better if it's lower. When compared to acoustic hearing neurograms, clearly our DNN-based sound coding strategy does a better job than a sound coding strategy. In conclusion, we aim to close the gaps between uh, acoustic and electrical hearing neurograms. Uh, our main goal was to produce neurograms uh, for cochlear implant stimulation strategies that look as close as possible to normal hearing neurograms. And through SSIM and MSC, we showed that compared to ACE, our DNN-based sound coding strategy can produce neurograms that are more similar to acoustic hearing neurograms. We also showed that by using the DNN-based biomimetic sound coding strategy, we can produce neurograms that represent the onset enhancement, fundamental frequency modulation, and traveling wave delay much better. Thank you for listening, and I will be happy to answer any questions or hear any comments that you might have.